how to identify key constraints regarding trade and investment within the community as well as across the continent. It also attempts to provide opportunities for sustainable development. One of the fundamental values of the book lies on its collaboration with a research institute in the Global South funded by the European Union. We have learned a lot how to collaborate with REPOA in Tanzania. We have asked experts on specific issues or on countries to write a book chapter and to give an answer to the key question of the book, how to improve East African competitiveness. One, the process towards export-led competitive economy is not free lunch. The book identified there are winners of firms in the process of integration as well as other firms who are going to lose. So policy should provide support to those firms who are going to lose in the process of integration. Two, trade with Europe is effective in promoting exports, but it would only promote economic development if it is complemented with development aid. So we actually learned a lot uh, from making this book. And I'm sure that when you read the book, you will also learn a lot. If you're a policymaker, you will find out, like we did, that there are missing institutions, missing markets, missing firms. And you will also find out where are the bottlenecks in the international value chains. If you're a student, you will see how different researchers approach a similar question. You will learn a lot about methods that have been used by experts on the ground. And the book gives a very good overview of what is actually happening in international trade in Eastern Africa.